Chris, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. I'm pretty excited about our guest today, are you? Yeah, I'm pretty excited. We've got a big show for you guys. We've got some stand-up comedy. Yeah! Yeah! That's right. So this is time for stand-up comedy. Woo! we got some music. we got live music for you guys today. Yeah! And we got some topical humor from Real True News. That's exciting stuff, isn't it? Yeah! going guys because right now the guy who makes all these lights and all these bells and whistles and all these noises and all these pictures happen every week here on Naked Fridays, our very own Andrew Haggins is going to come up here on stage and melt your face with some stand-up comedy. So please, yeah! I said I wanted to do stand-up, but uh, I had done it before, but it was two years ago. <laughs> and you know, you think, like, I can do this again, and then you realize, oh crap, I forget how to do it. And then when I looked over all my old notes, it was just outdated topical humor, like an upcoming federal election. So, uh, <laughs> wonder how that one turned out. Anyway, I'm Andrew. Uh, I do the lights back there. I'm trusting it to Josh, so hopefully it doesn't black me out some kind of act of revenge. Uh, anyway. <laughs> oh boy, great start. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, they, hey, guys all have it. Spring is slowly eking its way through. Like, this, this spring feels like Monopoly in a way, like one step forward, three steps back. You know, we get like two days of, you know, beautiful 20 degree weather, followed by three days of snow. Uh, but I'm happy because spring's coming back, and I've decided uh, this year I'm going to take the jump, and I'm going to actively start maybe looking for someone to date. Which, as you may know, is a different lifestyle thing than like just passively doing it. And now I'm actually going to keep my eye open. And it's weird because when that happens, I don't know if you've noticed, but like it's also like to revert back to a grade eight again. Because now like you're not like just like acting cool. You're kind of going like, she's kind of hot. I wonder if she likes me. She's looking at me. Oh shit, she's still looking. And then you start going to your friends like, hey. I noticed on Facebook, you're friends with Kenny. Can you talk about me? <laughs> can, you, can, you, can you talk to her about me? No, but be cool, man. Can you pass her a note? Yeah, and, and to me, that actually always felt like the purest form of dating, in a way, was when you pass the note. Uh, you know, because like nowadays, it's all about crazy signals and signs. Like People like go there and say things like, oh, man, she flipped her hair at you. That's a sign. Like, What's her hair's in her face? It's windy. How is that a sign? <laughs> or like, she scratched your arm. That's a sign. Like. I don't like, you don't see that in nature. Like, a lion does not walk up to a female like lioness and just like kind of brush by her, then act cool and walk over to the other lions and be like, yeah. <laughs> they look away. Like, or the female lions don't get into like a little pack and just kind of giggle at the male lion there. <laughs> you know, it, it just it just kind of happens like that. And somehow, because like, we're, we're animals, we lost that. And like, I know I, I'd be like that shy lion off to the side that doesn't get any, but. That's not the point. The point is that we somehow have lost that, that whole thing and we've just covered it up with Cosmo surveys and people just acting too cool and way too much Axe body spray. And I just wish we could bring that, like just bring back the innocence of a note that said, do you like me? Check one. Yes, no, I don't know. Consult me later. I mean, that is to me like it just an easier way because it's just so so hard deciphering the signals, and you ladies, you make it so freaking hard. Because, like, guys aren't like that. I get baffled whenever I'm waiting 20 minutes at the shopper's drug mart above, you know, for them to actually check, check me out. But, while, like, looking at the Cosmo things and all those other magazines, they all have the same things. Seven ways to make you know you like him. 18 ways. You know what? It's not, I don't think any girl has ever not known we like you. I don't think it's ever been a surprise. I don't think any girl's ever walked by going, Oh, Steve liked me? I didn't know. You know, but for me, I've had times where people come by and they're like, Andrew, you know, Deb was hitting on you. What? When? You know, when she was asking you about your day. That was a, that was a sign? You know, like, <laughs> but like, we're guys, we're so horribly awkward about it because we'll always, like, when we ask about your day, it's like, so, uh, what are you, what are you doing? 
<laughs> lady, how's your day? You really want to? Uh, oh, you're going this way? I'll go this way too. Uh, okay, so uh, yeah, what's going on? Oh, I, I know it's your house. Uh, okay, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. <clears throat> and then tomorrow, like, even if you don't know the girl that well, we'll still be at like the same bus stop we randomly ran into them. It's like, it's 6.30, I hope she was at work that day and she's like, huh? God, is this seem creepy? <laughs> no, people wait at St. Patrick's Station all the time. <laughs> this, is, this isn't wrong at all. And then you see like, oh, well, hi, remember me? I was the guy with the everything bagel and you said, is that a bagel? And I said, yes, and we talked and I followed you home. <laughs> so what are you doing? <laughs> How's your night going? <laughs> oh, we're on your way back. Oh, this is the police station now, huh? <laughs> so, and that's just it. We're, we are. I, I don't like. I, I, I think maybe just. I don't have that cool gene that every other guy seems to have. Because you know when your friends give dating advice, it's usually advice they'll never follow. I'm guilty of this too. Like, I have a friend who really liked a girl. I'll be like, yeah, you like her. Just go ask her out, man. No worry, no problem. Just, just do it. Just take that leap. And then, but like, you know, me, people go to me, go, dude, take that leap, just ask her out till I feel like, are you fucking nuts? Are you, I, are you insane right now? No, why would I do that? We're just all deep down hypocrites. And I love that part because I think in a weird way, that's kind of the closest thing we have to the animal kingdom. Because when you watch any kind of biography nature show, the males always fuck over the other males to get to the girl. Like, they always do something to that, and I think that's our one last connection, is fucking over another guy, because even if we aren't interested in this girl at all, even if this girl never crossed our radar, there's that party going, if I help you get this girl, then I can't get this girl, unless she's into some freaky stuff, but I don't want to see you naked, so I'm going to hedge my bets and totally fuck you over. <laughs> Anyway, that's a uh, my time. <laughs>